So, you know, Georgia was a, was a good meet for the entirety of our team. I mean, it, it, it helped to see some depth um, in an invitational type format. We, uh, we, we got to throw on some technical suits at Georgia for the first time this year and, and to see how guys responded to that, how they responded to a little bit of rest uh, at the end of the semester. And what was really good to see, and, and we've seen this at, at past invitationals in December, is that we got a little bit better as the meet went along. And that's really encouraging to me as a coach, as, as our guys got a little more rest or, or really got into the race mode a little bit more. Uh, we, we started to, to draw out some better performances from our guys, and I thought we finished off the meet really well uh, with, our, uh, with our 400 freestyle relays at the end. So with some good confidence to take into the semester break. That was some good confidence to take into our training trip out in Colorado Springs. And I, and I think, you know, from, from that point forward, from, from the end of the, end of the meet out in Athens uh, going forward, the great thing about going uh, to Colorado Springs to train with our guys is that we're there for 15 days and we're, we're in the dorms together. Uh, we go from the dorms to the dining hall, from the dining hall to the pool, back to the, back to the uh, dining hall, back to the dorms. So it's a, it's a very, very much of a, of a great routine that they get into, where they get to maximize their nutrition uh, from being in the Olympic Training Center, maximizing their recovery, the resources available. We're training long course for that, for that 15 days time straight, so, uh, uh, for those 15 days. And that, uh, that gives us some time to, to touch on some things that we want to come back to as we come off the collegiate season. But I, but I think more than anything else is it just really bonds us together as a group. I mean, we can, we can be in Berkeley, we can come to the pool and train, and then we go back to our respective places to live, whether that's apartment or a house or a dorm, et cetera. But at Colorado Springs, we all, we were all moving together as a unit. And that was probably the, our biggest takeaway uh, from the 15 days up there. The training was, uh, was fantastic. Our guys stayed healthy through that trip. And more importantly, we came off of that trip and had a really good 10 days here uh, back at sea level, which is uh, just as important as, as it is being up at, up at altitude for 15 days. That, that first 10 day window coming off of uh, uh, altitude we're really trying to maximize that in terms of our training and, and our guys have done a really, really good job with that. Well, I, I wanna see our guys get better in racing. Uh, we, we've done a great job in getting better in training uh, over the past um, you know, 20, 25 days. Uh, now we, we wanna translate that to some racing. You know, most of our guys are, are, uh, will have the opportunity to race you know, five, six, seven, eight times over the course of two days in, in, a, in a litany of different events. Uh, for a lot of our guys that are, that are versatile, it'll be nice to see them uh, swim some different things in a dual meet format. And so I want, I want to see us get better from, you know, from our first swim to our second swim to our last swim over the course of, uh, of the two days on Friday and Saturday. We do have great competition. Uh, Rick DeMont always does a great job with his guys out at Arizona. Uh, they had, a, uh, had an awesome Pac-12 meet last year and a very young group that he is rebuilding, doing a great job with that group. And then uh, you know, Bob Bowman is the head men's Olympic coach, so one of the best coaches in the world. And so you know that his athletes will always be prepared, be prepared to swim fast and, and be ready to, to swim against great competition. And, and we hope that we can provide that for both Arizona and Arizona State.